Now uh, basically I'm gonna record in kind of large chunks, maybe like an hour at a time, and then just split them into into videos for YouTube. And this is how we get this one up here. Got some new enemies. I do wish the bracelet blast went a little bit further. It's not too long of a range. I'm not sure yet what money is going to be good for. But I'm sure it's good for something. Yeah, we're not going to be able to kill that guy. I apologize, someone just tapped me. Go to the chomp subscreen by pressing select. The trait subsection of the screen. I try equipping his new trait now. Alright. So let's go to chomp. And trait speed up. Alrighty. Looks like we can have two traits right now. Alright. So let's go this way. Eh, you know what, I'll just do what the map says. I'm sure it's telling me to go this way for a reason. Put my phone on vibrate so I shouldn't get any more uh, interruptions from people texting me. Jump learned vertical spike. Okay, so we can assign that skill to Chomp. Alright, so R is Torpedo, so L will be Vertical Spike. Alright. Okay, now I gotta defeat those enemies above, probably to get that gate. Well, let's do that first here. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, each of Chomp's forms has its own set of skills to learn. Chomp evolves based on his activities. Once unlocked, you can change into a new form from the Evo subscreen. Alrighty, sorry about that. I did a quick uh, pause break. My wife uh, called me. Alright, looks like we have another power up here. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Melee strike acquired. Press the Y button to attack at close range. Alright, now he has an ability list that we can see. Alright, so... Ah, so okay, so we need to use the melee attack to break those. Makes sense. Feels like the band is calling me to a new place. Alright. Looks like we're going to the next uh, next area here. Nice. Try to get a balance between talking too much and not talking enough. Uh, it's weird, like having a, doing a let's play. I almost have this feeling that I have to be talking all the time, but uh, I don't know. Then I then I feel like I'm talking all the time. Kind of just try to enjoy the game and comment on things while I'm playing. I 
and this is Priscilla. Hmm, it seems that someone new has arrived. We must be sure to give our guest a proper welcome. Alright, so we're in the cavern. Alright, we have a new location to go to. here and let him do this and then send him back. Oh, I apologize, my wife is calling again. Alrighty, sorry about that again. Yeah, we have another save point here. game tells me to go now. It doesn't seem like there's too many exploration opportunities in this game. It's just kind of straightforward. Yeah, I'm still gonna go down here anyways. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Whoops. Okay, no, that doesn't do anything. I think that this game was actually made by the same people that did Henry Hathworth, which I, I played that game for a little bit, I never really got into it, um, kind of the platforming, the puzzle together, puzzle game together. It seemed neat, just didn't really get into it, I guess. Oh. Alright, get another power up. Super Band Blaster learned. Press the A button to fire long range projectiles. The Super Band Blaster requires the Super Meter ammo to be fired. Super Meter is found under the pet meter. Okay, so alright. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to use melee in order to power up my shots. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to... Looks like I'm gonna have to melee the easier monsters and... Shoot the harder monsters? I don't know. I don't wanna get too close to those harder monsters. Alright, where do they want me to go? Okay, all the way up here. Well, I think for my first few Let's Plays, I'm gonna do mostly uh, DS games. Um, there's quite a few games that I've wanted to play on the DS that I just haven't played. So I figured I might as well. And Chomp leveled up. After I get a few subscribers or fans, maybe I'll do some uh, voting, see maybe what uh, what we play next, things like that. Well, we'll just see as things kind of go along. Let's 
some DS games, I'm not sure how they would work. Like, um, I played some of the uh, Zelda games. Uh, the first one was at uh, Phantom Hourglass. I played some of that one. Um, on, on my actual DS, um, not on my computer. And I just think it would be hard to play with primarily stylus games on the computer. I mean, I'd have to use the mouse, and I, I guess I'd have to test it up a little bit to see uh, how well that will work. I'm not saying it's not possible, I just don't want it to be completely tedious to the point where I don't enjoy playing it. Alright, that was stupid. Oh. Uh. Alright. Oh boy, alright, I definitely have to shoot those guys. Oh, we get another power up. Let's see what we got here. Alright, roll down and B. Alrighty, so that's how we get into those tight spots. Greetings, strange travelers. My name is Jinx. I had to see you for myself. Hi, it's nice to meet a monster that isn't attacking us for once. Sir, if you don't mind my asking, how do you know us? Sir, my my, how polite you are. Word of you travel quickly to me through the whispers of my little birds. This sounds like uh, the guy from Game of Thrones. Uh, I can't remember his name, the spider. <laughs> you are causing quite a stir. Let me get a better look at you. Oh my, you bear a band on your wrist. An astonishing development indeed, he he he. You know about this bracelet? Ho ho ho, that is no ordinary bracelet. That is a legendary band, an ancient artifact thought to have been lost forever. It is said that it allows the right wearer to unlock the secrets of this land and fulfill one's true inner potential. This little thing? I just found it laying in the forest. Why would it have been there? I believe that you came from not only a different place, but an entirely different world. Once in a while, someone from one world somehow goes to the other world. We monsters live in this world, and those called humans come from the other world. The band must have somehow fallen into your world. Unfortunately, the humans who have arrived here before you have been different. Others like me, how did we get here? Or, and how can we get back? I don't know the answers to those questions, but the others who are here have no intention of going back to your world. They have taken power for themselves and rule over this world. Each one has claimed a kingdom as their own. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take a little break there. They use the land and its monsters to fulfill their own greedy desires at any cost. The world has changed so much because of the Kid King's enslavement of the monsters. That's terrible, but how could kids become their rulers? When they arrived, many monsters believed that they were special. They thought that these strangers were the ones written about in our legends. Not all of us monsters wished it so, but there were enough that blindly believed. There was a great war that ripped the land apart. The war ended when the Kid King dethroned the rightful ruler of the monsters. But that is all past. Seeing you two before me, I feel hope once again for this world. Between the band and your companion here, you might just be able to save our world. Oh, you mean Chomp? I'm just trying to find his mother so that he won't be alone. I don't know anything about saving the world. Chomp, is that what you call him? Ho ho ho. He seems to favor you. It looks like the rumors are true. What are you talking about? He he he. I think that you'll find that this monster is quite special. If you wish to find his mother, you should go see King Mead. I can't wait to see how this all unfolds. 